know that what you teach right now in your um, sober courses is a lot about understanding what's going on, you know, internally too. Um, yeah. really understanding why we're drinking or why we don't want to drink in order to kind of cut that cycle off. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about what that means and, and why it's important to know your yeah. why? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I do private coaching. I also have an online sober coaching course and obviously my podcast where there are like 150 episodes of us talking about all the things about women and alcohol and drinking and quitting drinking. One of the very first things I do with my clients and I suggest is diving into two lists. And one is why you want to stop drinking all the shit, all the shit you feel, all the th shit you think, all the, the crappy stuff that's happened. Um, why you want to stop drinking. And 95% of the work I do is really positive and forward looking. I truly believe that so many of us spend so much time talking shit to ourselves, writing horrible notes to ourselves, taking selfies on like the day you feel like garbage, um, waiting to have something bad enough happen. So therefore we will no longer want to drink. Um, and I don't think it works. I mean, for all the reasons, especially like the fading effect syndrome, where you just remember positive things way more than negative things in looking back on your life. But it's important to capture that. And the reason is that when you get to 40, 50, 60 days alcohol free, you're going to feel better. You're going to be happier. You're going to be like I was like, I'm better now. I'm happier now. I'm not as stressed. I'm not as anxious. Um, I'm more confident. Our minds will say, therefore, I can drink. And so you need to have that list to remind yourself of why you started. Um, and then, so that's your reason. And then you look at your vision. And I like to capture that in the beginning as well. So the idea is just, what do you want instead? And it doesn't have to be deep. Um, I think that a lot of us think like the reason I want to stop drinking or the vision of what I want to do instead, it has to be horrible versus incredible, right? And I think that's something that a lot of women who are high functioning, overachievers, drinking a ton, but like I used to say, I'm only hurting myself, which when you look at it is a really crazy thing to say, but I'm like, I'm still a great mom. I'm still a great colleague. I hold my shit together. All I do is get drunk and pass out and feel like garbage. Like, eh, you know, like, that's not so bad. But um, it it's it's a mistake to think that it has to be some grand reason that you want to stop. Some horrible reason. You know, I went to AA. They say jails, institutions, and death. Like that's what's on the other side. It does not have to be that. Um, and it does not have to be like my life sucks right now. And it's going to be amazing if I stop drinking. It is enough to say, I want to stop drinking because I want to remember the end of shows I watch. I want my husband to stop asking me what, how I feel in the morning. I want to stop coming home and overpaying the babysitter because I have no idea um, how much I'm I'm paying her. I want to feel better. I want to be confident. I want less anxiety. And how do you want to feel? I want to feel healthy. I want to feel proud of myself. I want to run a 10K that I've been saying I was going to do for X number of years. I want to be present for the moments for my kids. Mm -hmm.